Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing. Let's go to the city, or Animal Crossing City Folk, as you probably know it as. And we have the upgraded house. Pretty much the fully most upgraded house you're able to get in this game. Um, is that the moon? What is the moon doing out at this time of day? Very weird. Is that a spring thing? That might be a spring thing. But anyway, we have two chimneys and a yellow roof, which is really cool. Which also means we have the basement. So today, we are going, even though it's a very nice, summery, springy day, we're actually going to be... Focusing on some stuff inside. We're gonna try and check out our basement. So let's let's without further ado Let's just get straight in there and see our basement anyway So thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you tuning in I hope you're still enjoying this let's play series. I know we've been going for so long now We're, What are we the entering our fourth month almost in a couple of days? We started January last year, so that's 16 months absolutely crazy um, So yeah, thank you for watching for so long and welcome if you joined halfway through. Anyway, let's go check out the basement. We do have the stairs, so um, we're probably going to need to come back. Actually, do you know what? We should probably take something with us that we can access these storage. Let's just take one of these. Um, hopefully, we can use that to get to the storage. Um, and then we won't need to come back up and go back down again. So, yes, here we go. This is our basement. Um, this is this is so cool. Can we... Yeah, we, oh, we can do the camera. It's always... The camera's always inverted, isn't it? Um, but this is our basement, <laughs> so it just feels chilly down here. But anyway, we are going to be decorating this today, or at least get a start on it. Um, because we're going to be making, or what we've been saying we're going to make is some kind of underground fight club, underground gym. Something that you just may not expect from Molly, but just something that's unusual that maybe not many people do. And also, make use of items that I personally normally avoid pretty much so things like the boxing ring some of the gym items and stuff that I've never really used in a build before because I never really find a way to use them but anyway let's get straight into it um can I put the let's put the um slingshot away so we can just make full use of our pocket space here so we don't get confused and lose stuff so we do have pretty much everything ready to go we've been saving up stuff for a long time so I'm just going to get everything out really it's, do you know what? It's so quiet down here. We're going to have to go and get um, some music because I just can't work without music. So is that pretty much everything? That might be everything we've got. There will be things that we need to track down later on um, because I don't think we've got all of the boxing ring items. Oh, sweet player. We could just use that temporarily, I think. These are some DLC items and... Okay, oh, the classroom floor might be a perfect thing, right? Let's get some music down here first because it is so quiet. And I'm not a fan of my own voice. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, we might need to get some different KK music for a bit of a, a bit of sort of intense music going. Right, let's see what we're working with here. I think I'm just going to throw things down um, and then go from there. So, boxing mat, is that the. Yep, yeah, that's the. A mat there. We're going to use that in front of the door, but I do think those are supposed to be. Um, oh, we can't move it, can we? I think those are supposed to be in front of the boxing ring, aren't they? But we'll put it in front of the door anyway, because it's kind of one of the few items you can actually move and walk over in this game. So, have we actually even got a boxing? Oh, red corner. Here we go. Do we only have one? Oh, I thought we had more than that. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh, it's a bed as well. <laughs> what? I did not know that it could be used as a bed. Um, that is so weird and funny. Can we get off the other side? Okay, so we're gonna have to try and get a hold of the rest. I thought we had more, but we we know that the rest are gonna go here because we need a blue corner, which I'm guessing goes the opposite, and then two. What are they? Neutral? I think they're called neutral corners. So we know that's going to take up that amount of space. So we've got the rest of the space here to work with. Um, we're going to get this out of the way and put it in the corner. Because it won't be part of the final thing. And we'll probably move this down here as well. So we're going to get, throw some sandbags up and some of the, like, the workout gear. Just to try and create a bit of a, a, a gym area right let's use the classroom floor oh no we've got the sporty floor we don't need the classroom floor 
There we go. Oh, it's an actual, it's like a track. Do we want this one? I think the classroom floor would look better. Actually, because it's more of a, it's, uh, it's more subtle, isn't it? Let's see. Spread on floor. That's more. Oh, no, that's not, is it? It's. Okay, maybe we'll go with the sports floor until we find an alternative. This isn't going how I planned. Um, okay, right. We can deal with the rest later. I think once we've got items everywhere, it might not look like a track. Right, anyway, let's throw some things down and we can start moving some things about. There we go. It's taking shape already. Right, this thing is definitely going to have to go... Um, in front of this, isn't it? So we know we, not to put anything in those corners. Because that's where the boxing ring will go. I'm thinking of throwing this weight machine in the corner here. Because we want to maybe divide up some of the areas a little bit. So you'd have like a boxing area. Um, do you know what? I was... It looks okay like that, but originally I was going to put it around like this. There we go. We might have to order up some duplicate items. Right, what else have we got? Boxing barricade. Let's get these out of the way. Won't need those. A cooler. Scale. Cardboard box. We don't have as many things as I thought. Right, boxing barricade. We probably want to... These are pretty cool. Actually, do you know what? We probably do want to do something like this. We're going to have to go and buy a bunch more boxing barricades, I think. They're actually really cool items. Making little fences. Yeah, we need... What do we need? One... At least two more, I think. Are they... Oh, they're only one tile. One, two, three. We need three to go across there. We might end up... Three... Four, five... Six, seven. Oh, we're going to have to order seven barricades, I think. Okay, anyway. Right, let's put this one into the corner here. The big one. I think we're going to move this down. Yeah, this is going to be a slight work in progress. We didn't have as many as I thought. I guess I just had it in my head that... Um, we were ready to do this. Let's see. We're going to chuck a cardboard box down. Because it's just kind of a cool and unique item. And I feel like maybe there's just some, like, gym stuff not that hasn't been put away. I'm going to put a cooler this side of the barricade. There we go. Again, it's not really a gym item. Oh, it's storage. <laughs> That's a shame. I was kind of hoping to have it open. Um, okay, so it's coming together. We need a wallpaper. I think there's also a sports wall of, like, people cheering in the crowd. I think Maury has that. In storage, right? Green headgear. Here we go. Can we put that on here, maybe? Place in room. Yes, we can. That's good. That's so perfect for boxing, isn't it? It's a shame we didn't have red and blue ones. Can we get red and blue ones? That's actually a DLC item, I think. What do we got here? Oh yes, the scale. I suppose we would weigh in, wouldn't we? I'm not really sure how boxing stuff works. Maybe you do it on the way in. What do you do on the way in? We need some curtains or something, don't we? Right, let's move this. We're going to need a a bit more of a... Jimmy-fied... Is that a word? Like a, a gym-inspired stereo player. Mm, okay, so let's see. We're going to put them across here, I think. We could always move these around. They're not really for, like, gyms. But I suppose you would... Maybe you would weigh yourself after you've been to the gym. Um, do you know what? Let's move these over here a little bit. Um, let's move them away. Um, so we can get rid of this now, can't we? So we'll probably put these in the corner, actually. Do you know what would be really funny? If we could actually stand on this. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, okay, that's cool. It's got, like, a, a scale either side. But I think it looks better like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, they would have to go along this back wall, I think. Maybe it doesn't matter so much that it is next to it. I do think it looks better that way, though, doesn't it? 
But may I don't want it to look too samey. Maybe we should spin this around like that. Because we're going to have some more barricades along here, I think. Potentially. Because you want, you want to, the barricades to stop people getting too close to the boxing ring, aren't they? Oops. No. Okay, let's just double check we haven't got anything else that we can use in our storage. This is definitely good progress though. Work uniform. Silver can. Box of tissues. Would you want the box of tissues down here? Maybe if you got hurt, I suppose. These are all the models that we're probably going to use upstairs in the toy area. I think that's everything. Molly does not have a lot of stuff, but we can go to Nooks and order some more barricades. Um, we should probably check our mail first as well. These are all the Gracie stuff. A Gar's helmet. I don't think that would be in a gym. I'm going to put the classroom back. I think those are Gracie items. The basement floor we don't really need, but I'm going to keep it because it's probably the last one we've got. And we can't actually order another one. Weirdly enough, the stuff in the basement, I, I think it's... Once you've sold it, you can't get them back again unless you delete a house and add a new house. And since this is our fourth house, we might as well keep the basement stuff just in case. Um, right, that is everything. Kitty wardrobe can go back upstairs. Okay. Right. Um... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna need a different CD player, but this is good work in progress. I get the feeling these are red items. We might have to go and see Red today, see if he's got a boxing ring. That would be super good luck. Um, but the, the, the barricades won't come in until tomorrow. But yeah, okay, that's good work in progress. I think we can, yeah, we can handle that. Let's go and order some more. We're gonna chuck this uh, kitty thing back up here. <laughs> I don't think anything else. I think we can probably get some of the models out, but maybe we'll do this another time because I think a lot of the models we've got, I'm going to try and use in this room. It just depends on how many lovely furniture items we've got. But anyway, let's go and order some, um, what are they called? Barricades, the boxing barricades. Hopefully they're not too much money. Let's see, Tom, we've got to talk to him about our debt anyway. Oh, we've got 2,000. We could probably try and find the uh, money rock first. I'm just going to do this because we're going to have, probably have lots of uh, stuff to get from the mailbox from Winnie we'll just get rid of that and this one don't need that what's this one Apollo um, oh yeah that was a thank you for giving him some medicine Oh, all the time we've only got one from Genji. Oh, it's Genji left. I'm packing up and leaving town today. Thanks for everything. Moriland is nice, but I need a town with more chewed. Genji. Oh no, now we've got to hold our tools. Um, we should probably put the axe away. We might need the rest. Right, let's have a little look around town. And we're gonna, we'll go the long way around up to Nooks check on a few things the flowers are looking okay I think these all look okay apart from this one in the last episode we also designed a path and I've had a bit of a thought about this um, because this is a 16 tile but it looks too big so I'm thinking about shrinking it down to just a quarter and then making four of them so it looks a little bit more intricate but we might do that in another episode if anyone's happy to sit through that. If not, I could do it sort of offline. But I think, yeah, we think I think we need to change this. This is what it looks like. I just think it could look a little bit better if it was a bit smaller. So it'd be basically four tiles in one, if that makes sense. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that, because it would be a big help. Hey, Apollo. Are you thinking spring? Hey, uh, where do you get all that energy from, pal? You look raring to go. Well, we're excited about making an underground fight club. Do you want to you become a member? Now that we've got a bus line and you can get to the city easier, I've seen a lot fewer of them, but this town still needs the occasional traveling sales. That's so true. I think I do prefer it. Like, I love having a big city to go to, and Main Street in New Leaf is a great example. Um, I would say it's probably the best out of the three that have kind of populated areas like that but I do love when they visit and I've just had a thought actually 
Is the moon there because it's like off screen? Because it's wide screen? And it's just there? I don't know. Anyway, flowers are looking okay. There's not as many withered flowers as I thought there would be. I'm just gonna water these while I remember. Try and drown a ladybird. Okay, that will do. Right. So yeah, I think we're gonna change up the path again. The gray is cool, but if we made our own gray tile, it's there's too much gray going on. Uh, your home renovations are done. Did you view them? Very good, yes. Now even uh, you even have a basement. Molly, your house is huge. Magnificent. And so let me just tally up the red number column here. Yes, you owe the piddling sum of precisely. Yeah, it's not gonna be that low. Can you imagine if it was that low? Or at least that certainly would be a nice number for our hardworking friend Molly. It's actually f uh, 598,000 bells. Whoa, aren't you happy, Molly? Just maybe, yeah. So that's nearly, that's not even that bad actually for like the last. That is the last upgrade, isn't it? The basement doesn't get any bigger. Right, no silver slingshot. It's such a shame. Are we ever going to see it? Oh, we forgot to get the money rope. Are we ever going to see a silver slingshot? Oh, we've got a lovely kitchen. Yes, that's going to rob us of loads of money though. How much is this? Spotlight product, lovely kitchen. Oh, it's not too bad. We're gonna take that for our lovely kitty room. We've got a cooker. Oh, this is perfect. This is good for the. Oh, we don't have no money. This we're gonna have to go and get some money and come back. Uh, is this a lamp or? A... Oh, it's a table lamp. That might be good for down in the basement as well. Okay, we're gonna have to go and get some money and come back, and then we'll check out the wallpapers as well. I should have done the money rock first, but I was—I just totally got distracted. And then I think we're going to go to the city and check out Red, because I get the feeling the boxing ring stuff is from him. I think that's where we got the red corner from. If not, the blue corner probably is, but we never see them in Nooks, do we? And I have checked, by the way, the other three characters last time we were looking into this. Um, none of them have any of the other boxing corners. And I thought they did. Um... So we really need to track those down, so... Sunny, if you have any boxing corners, <laughs> please let me know. Look at that, I dug up a fossil. Okay, we've got a fossil already. Could be good to sell. Do we throw them down here? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the fossils. We'll let Mori handle those, I think. Molly's lazy. Molly is in decoration mode. Let's see. It's, it is cool when, oh here we go, it is cool when you go to Nooks and there are items that you can make use of. It's such a good feeling because it doesn't happen too often these days. Um, but yeah, if we can't get them, I feel like we would remember seeing them in Nooks, even if it was early on. Because they're quite big items, they probably would be spotlight items. So I do think we would have remembered seeing them, so I do think it's probably... Um, red items so imagine we there was the blue corner there today or even actually the neutral corner because that would mean um we could drop two oh no because we could only buy one at a time but still we could we could order one and drop it down but anyway there we go our house is looking cool hey chief our house? I mean our town, sorry. M Love, don't tell me you just got up. Loafing about in bed on a gorgeous day like this is just a waste of good sunshine. You may think I'm just a tired old man for saying this, but I like walking slow. Everyone these days is caught up with speed. Do you get on with Apollo by any chance, Chief? But yeah, actually, we've got sunshine here in real life for the first time since pretty much Christmas time. Um, so, so I know what you, f what you mean, Chief. Did we water that one? I think we did. Oh, we watered that one as well. Oh, well. right. So we've got the money rocks. We could probably go ahead now and go and buy those. But we're going to need to get some more money before we head up to the city as well. Just in case. Because there probably will be a painting there anyway. So yeah, exciting. I love it when we've just got things to do and we can just get... I, I love all kinds of, obviously, episodes. I really like the chilled, laid-back ones as well, but I also like it. It's quite refreshing when it changes, so one day you're just chilled, you're enjoying the game, the next day there's loads of things to do. 
and the next day it's chill again. And that's kind of a, a night. That's that's why Animal Crossing is so cool. I think you can just do whatever you want. It's not like constantly intense. What's this one actually? Look at this. Does that go with? Oh no, it's just kind of a different aesthetic almost. This is like a corner. Is that a toaster or is that a knife block? Or is that a toast holder? Mm, doesn't really go with our aesthetic though, is it? How much, what is this even called actually? A kitchen corner. It's pretty cheap actually. Um, I might buy it just to catalog potentially right we're gonna get this and the, oh, there's two lamps in here we've got the cabana lamp as well but that doesn't really go with our aesthetic at the moment this thing probably could get away with being in the what are we calling it a gym or an underground fight club regal wall mm, not very jimmy is it citrus wall no Plaster wall. <laughs> oh, that is not what I thought it would look like. If that was grey, it'd probably be better. Okay, that'll do. Right, so we'll I think we'll do a quick, very quick fruit run. Just so we've got, we go armed with bells. Because we're going to need 4,000 bells for um, the painting. And then hopefully there's something cool there that we can put in our gym. Or fight club. Oops. Wasn't looking. We'll probably have to do two of these because we haven't got full space available. Drop these here, there we go. We'll just do it now actually, may as well. But yeah, I do like having an idea in mind where we know we're designing a gym room or like a boxing club. Like when you've got something in mind that you know you're working towards, I find it so much easier to do. Like, so many people create things just off the top of their head and they're so creative. I just don't, I just can't do that. I need like an idea in mind what I'm already working towards. And we've been planning this for a while, haven't we? Right, let's get rid of these, sell those. Thank you. I think I'm gonna do one more just to be sure. I definitely prefer to go armed with plenty of bells. Because we don't have anything in the bank. So we'll do one more quick fruit run. Just to make sure we're not missing out on anything. There we go, grab these apples. But yeah, this is definitely work in progress more than I thought it was. For some reason I thought we had a whole boxing ring. But then I do, now I think about it, I do remember previously checking the other residents for um, more corners and we don't have the corners, so. Oh. Okay, that will do, I think. Okay, let's uh, sell these. Super quick. There we go. That should be plenty. Even we could buy all three of red items with that. But let's hope for some luck with red because there are plenty of items that red has that you can only get through him. Um but sometimes he also just sells nook stuff but for like twice as much. So there's always the chance, even in a year of playing, that we might not have even ever seen the stuff that he needs. Right, kitchen corner we might not use, kitchen 
corner, uh, the lovely kitchen, we will use that. We will use the table lamp. We will use. Okay, we will use. Sorry, we'll keep those in our pockets because we'll be end, end up coming back probably. Get rid of that. Okay, let's go. It doesn't look like there's anyone visiting, so we may as well spend some time in the city anyway. So the last person to visit was Sahara. We haven't seen Wendell in forever in City Folk. Oh, we have arrived. It is getting into the late afternoon, so you can tell kind of the sun is almost... It's starting to set because you can tell the color of the sky is slightly different. Anyone interesting here? I think it's too early for the reset center. We really should be trying to get to the reset center again. We're gonna have to play some evenings this coming week, I think. Um, right, let's head to Reds. That's what we're here for. We could check out Gracie's as well, just to see what's in there. I think it's the sweet stuff at the moment, or the princess stuff. I can't remember. It's been a while. Oh, we've got a classic CD thing. And this, I think we have this one. Is that the scary one? I fell in love with a scary painting. Yeah, we'll buy it anyway. Might be genuine. Oh, there's nothing in here that's worth our money. What's this? A classic item, is it? Exotic table. Yeah, I don't think it's worth our money. I still don't know if there's a way to tell if it's a genuine red item or not. Um, oh, I mean like an exclusive red item. This is cool though. I don't think it would fit in anyone's house though. Um, I'll have to look those up. I'm going to look up a red exclusive list. Oh yes, we've got to get an invitation. Look, I'll give you another invitation as long as you promise to give it to someone you trust. And thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, I wish we could have more houses. A slight limitation with City Folk, only four houses. I suppose that that's a benefit of playing New Horizons, because you can have eight, can't you? Right, let's check out Gracie Grace. Um, they definitely sorted the storage issues out with New Horizons, didn't they? And pretty much unlimited space. Oh, it is the princess stuff, isn't it? I do love this furniture. It's just so expensive. Gracie isn't here. Oh, that's cute. Nothing that we really need. Nothing would fit in our underground boxing club. <laughs> Not from in here, anyway. This is definitely too high-end for our underground uh, basement. Thank you for stopping by. Well, we don't want to go to Shampoodles because we've already we've got a nice haircut that we still like. We just very much. Oh, hey. Jitters! Whoa, turn the brightness knob down on those sneakers! Now nah, I'm just messing with you. Maybe if you go see Kicks, you can buff up the my cross trainers. You, you're not wearing any! Okay, what else do we need? Have we got how many emotions have we got? Oh, we've got none. Let's go and get an emotion, a reaction, whilst we're up here, then we'll head back and finish up in our house, I think. Since we're up the city though, might as well have a little bit of pleasure. Um, a bit of entertainment, a bit of downtime. Uh, is this your first uh, time here to see a show, ma'am? For newcomers, oh, to mark you off a special performance. The performance will begin just a few, oh, we don't even get to choose. Oops, I went in the outway. Oh well. Is that Cody? Cody, I like playing Guess the Animal. See, see how many villagers I actually know. I see this place is as cheesy and outdated as ever. Certainly is. Right, let's get a front row seat. Hope we don't have to get pulled up on stage or something. Thank you for your patience. The Marquis is very pleased to present uh, Dr. Shrunk, starring in the feature Irritation. Is this, the always, is this the one we got first last time? There he is. Thank you, thank you. It's not a very good one to start off with. You'd think they'd start with like a happy, like the one he's doing now, like the joy one. And if you're sick of the same old blabberty blab, have I got a cure for you? Yeah, yeah? You can't wait, right? Oh, hello? <laughs> wow, rough crowd. Well, there's no better way to break through the blahs than to tell you one of my exciting jokes. Yep, that's what the doctor ordered. You did come to hear one of my exciting jokes, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm, 
Maybe not. Anyway, get ready to feel the excitement. Okay then. Hmm. Oh, he's like, I'm bombing here. Oh no. Um, I have I got a serious case of irritate is it irritation today. That is right, isn't it? Want to know why? I just bought a fortune cookie. When I cranked it open, there was no fortune, and I bought another one. It didn't have a fortune either. I bought a third cookie. I smashed it open. Guess what? There was a fortune inside. It said you will spend a fortune on cookies today. Can you believe that? Yeah, you just totally got scammed. It wasn't uh, like a, a stand run by Crazy Red, was it? The doctor is out. So he's got a really cool face, actually, like a really grumpy face. So is that the, the one where you get like a bubble above your head and you, you stamp the floor because you're annoyed? Is that the one we've just unlocked? See what I did there? Kapow, right, right? I'm putting them to sleep. Uh, you can do it too. The emotion's just added to your keyboard window. Right, let's check it out. Hopefully, hopefully it's... Uh, the one I'm thinking of. I would have preferred like a happy one to start with. It's a bit weird that they went with kind of a, almost a negative one. We hope you enjoyed the show today. We hope to see you again in the future. Who's the MC then? Right, let's see here. Oh, it's just, it's not, I thought it was the angry one, but it's not, it's just kind of the, that fa it is the face that Dr. Shrug pulled. That's a funny one to start with. It must be random maybe. I don't remember getting that first time last time, but I could have done, it was like probably like a year ago. Anyway, let's head out. We'll head back to our town now. We'll just throw these items down. We're going to have to rearrange the main room at some point. Hey! Del, you're a robot crocodile, right? Uh, no one knows where he comes from or why he does it, but sometimes there's a guy who hands out prizes. My theory is that uh, this is KK Slider's day job. What, you think he's dressed up? Or something. Maybe, do you know what? I've just had a thought. Maybe Phineas is the person who lets all the balloon presents go. Because do we even know where they come from? Right, let's head back home. To Moriland. And, uh, yeah, get this house looking good. Okay, safe and sound at home. We're gonna head to the museum f just first quickly because on the way back I remembered we still have the scary painting and we'll just find out if it's genuine or not. It's always good to get them I suppose because if they are genuine you've got an extra genuine painting you can use. This area is looking so cute. I love all the flower beds like this. I'm trying so hard to keep on top of them. Actually do we have a bee? And let's have let's see if is that a honey bee or just a bee? Let's go and see if we can see it. Because I'm gonna write down the list this weekend of all of the critters that we need to complete the museum. There's all the butterflies. Oh there it is. It's flying around the roses. So it's bigger in here. Um yeah, maybe maybe sometime this week we'll do a tour of the museum properly and then I can talk through which ones we need for each category. Hello, Blathers. I beg your pardon. In any case, allow me to welcome to Moriland Museum. Let's see. We've got a painting. Oh, we've got that. It's invitation. So annoying. <laughs> Scary painting. Oh, upon close. Oh, no. Not the original. I think we probably already have it anyway. Sorry, Blathers. Well, we're going to throw this in the in the recycling. Maybe someone else can take it out and make use of it. It's a shame you can't like do something weird, like trick the villagers into buying fake paintings. Let's go to the recycling quickly and then we'll head home. And because we're going to throw the invitation away anyway, they're pretty much useless. If you throw, if you attach a letter to a present to the letter and send it to a villager that all they do is acknowledge the fact that it's an invitation um so forge painting and invitation okay cool right that's everything we need to do in here and now we can head home i don't think we're going to use the kitchen corner i kind of got, got it because i think it would be one of the i imagine it to be one of those items that i've looked at in the past and think oh, i'll get around to buying that and then never actually do so we've cataloged it now um, in fact, I might even leave it out for Maury, actually. So Maury can catalogue it on that house, because that's the biggest catalogue we've got in the whole game. 
So I'm just going to leave it here, actually. Oh, there's another fossil. Uh, maybe, maybe the moon isn't just out because it's like we're playing in widescreen when it wouldn't necessarily have been widescreen. Maybe it is moving. It does look like it's moving now because we're getting to sort of the evening time. Who lives here again? Oh, yes, that's right. A mouse. Right, so we've got a couple items. We can go and replace our boombox thing downstairs. And the... Uh, what was it? The table lamp. Because this is... De the boombox definitely would be in a gym. Either someone would bring it in or it would be just the one that's already in here. Um, let's see if we can get it working. Where are we going to put the lamp? We need some more... Ta we need another cardboard box in here. Right, I'm going to put... Just for now, it probably... It might not be the final place where it goes. But we'll just stick it there for now. Okay, this is coming along okay, actually. The floor doesn't look as bad. I think once... Oh, we forgot to order the barricades. Oops. I get so distracted, it's unbelievable. So what we'll do, we'll drop the kitchen down somewhere. Oh my goodness. We might have to get rid of one of these drawers since we've got two of them. Um, what I'm going to do is... Just in case we end up needing both, I'm just going to stick it here for the moment. Because these will all get moved around eventually. That's such a cool item. Okay, where is the thing? I'm going to put the sweets player back in here. I went the wrong way. Where's the DLC stuff? We don't have many DLC on this profile. This one, isn't it? There we go. Okay, cool. Right, now let's go and order some barricades because I totally forgot. Uh, well, that was one of the reasons we went to Nooks in the first place. Got distracted. Sorry if you've been screaming that at the screen. My bad. Okay, let's head back up to Nooks. And that's pretty much all we really need to do today. Turns out we can order as many things as we like. I think in the GameCube it is a three limit. I think even in New Horizons it's a five item limit. So it's weird that in this game we could order, we could order if we wanted, if we were inclined to, we could order the entire catalogue. It would just take forever to arrive because the mailbox fills up. Um, catalogue, right. Let's see, where's it going to be? At the bottom somewhere. Above the models. Um, I imagine it to be around here somewhere. Once we find it once, it should be okay. Oh, these are the boxing mats. Boxing barricade, there we go. So if we just, it's just near this point here. A thousand pa a thousand bells. So we're gonna order as many as we ca can be bothered to. Um, there we go. Once we know where it is, it doesn't take too long. It's a shame we can't, when we order one, it doesn't say, how many would you like? Barricade. So that was three, wasn't it? I think we need seven. But we don't even have to use them all if we decide there's too many. Four. But we'll order seven, so we've got seven to work with. And then... If we decide there's too many, we can just either throw them in storage or sell them again. What was that, five? So we'll order... Oh no, that's four, wasn't it? Four or five. We'll order... We need another mat, and I think I might get another weight bench as well. Because we want a mat for the other side of the boxing ring as well. Um. Right, I'll order 
one more because I can't remember. I've lost count of how many we've ordered. Um, right, that should be plenty. That's five. That's six or seven we've ordered now. I'm gonna order another mat. And do you know what we could do as well? We could order three more of the boxing corners until we. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. How much are the corners? <gasps> Six thousand. We could order three of those until we've got the ones that we need, couldn't we? Just to fill it out. Um, but we would need eighty. We would need like twenty thousand bells. Um, I think we'll order those after Bunny Day because Bunny Day we should be able to get quite a lot of money. Can we go, have we got enough to do another weight bench? There we go. Yeah, we'll, we might do that, you know, because I think it's going to be a while till we find some more um, corners because I do think they're red exclusive, which means now we know red's not going to have any until at least next week. And even then, they might not be the ones. So maybe after tomorrow, because we're going to play Bunny Day tomorrow, we'll probably end up milking it for as much money as possible because we have all the event furniture already. And we even have had a room on display, so we don't need them. So we're just going to use them for paying off mortgages. And maybe we could use some just to buy some more corners until we find the right corners. At least that way we could then build a boxing ring. But there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up today, just before 5 o'clock. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. It was... Um, it turned out better than I thought, even though going into it, I thought we had more items than we did, but it turned out okay. I think the room is really taking shape, so let me know feedback on the room, or if there's any other bespoke or mis miscellaneous items you can think of that would look really awesome in that room. Let me know, because um, often it needs a few eyes on the room to really see how it's coming together. So if you, have it, if you have any ideas, let me know. But thank you so much for watching and being here with me today especially on the weekend. I don't normally put one out on Saturday, really, but I was quite excited to get this room done. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, of course, to the channel members as well for supporting this content and being a member of the channel. It's just so good to have your support. It's, it's just really amazing. You create such a safe and cozy space for everyone who comes and watches the videos every single day. So without your support, we just wouldn't be able to do that. So thank you. You're absolutely amazing. I hope you all enjoy the weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.